If you're a regular subscriber of mine, you may or may not find this video interesting, but bear with me, I will explain why it ties into my usual channel stuff in a minute. If you are getting Home Assistant and trying to find a Raspberry Pi at the moment, you may find that buying a Raspberry Pi is near impossible, and you may be thinking of buying a mini computer, like this Lenovo M72e, to run Home Assistant on. What you might find when you buy one of these Lenovo M72Es and you want to run Home Assistant, you have a couple of options. Now, one is installing Home Assistant OS. And if you're watching this video, it's probably because you struggle to install it. And some people have advised putting some bootable disk in this and then plugging that in and that doesn't work. And also, you don't want to keep anything plugged in. You want this as minimalist as possible. Well, I've installed Home Assistant on this without having a USB plugged in and it's running directly off this without any Docker or any Linux based system. This is just Home Assistant OS directly on here. And if you watch today's video, I'll show you exactly how. Now, if you're not a regular subscriber of mine or you are a regular subscriber of mine, but wondering why I'm talking about Home Assistant, Home Assistant for me is going to help with my automation of all my smart devices that I want to help me save energy. And this ties into my electric car and also my green part of my channel, which if you're interested in electric cars and green energy, check out my channel, click subscribe and click the bell. Now I'm getting solar and battery systems installed soon and I want to help this manage that. It also has the advantage of having one app. You just download Home Assistant. Home Assistant runs locally on your server. It's one app and can control all your smart home, including my Taddy radio thermostats, my Hue lighting, my uh, Wi-Fi bulbs, my smart sockets, my smart plug sockets. It can control everything from one app and automate them all on here, which means that this £50 computer from eBay can do everything. Now, this £50 computer from eBay, make sure it has about eight gigabits of RAM and has a hard drive SSD already in it. But if it doesn't have one, you could just buy an SSD. Now, your next question is, how do you install it? Well, if you read Home Assistant's website, you buy one of these cables and then you plug your SSD into this cable like so. And then when you get this plugged in like so, uh, you use the software that's on Home Assistant's website, you put this back in here, and then it doesn't boot up and doesn't work on this Lenovo M72e. So what you do do instead is you buy this USB key, and you won't need it again after once it's installed. You download Ubuntu, and you put Ubuntu on here as a live operating system. There's links down below in the description on where to download that from. So just basically download it, use the same software, that Home Assistant told you to download, you've probably already downloaded it, you're reading, you're watching this video because you're troubleshooting the problem. Uh, you use that same software to load the Ubuntu software onto this. Once that's in, you plug it straight into the USB and you ask it to boot up from USB. Now, you can boot up from USB, I think it's F2 on this system. Now, if you're struggling to see the boot up system, you can keep pressing enter. Uh, that will enter the BIOS. You change the BIOS to prioritize this key as boot up or you can select boot up option USB-C. So you just boot up from this USB, you leave the SSD already in here. Now this will boot up and it will boot up with the Ubuntu live operating system. You ask it to be a try, you don't install it, you try it. Once it's downloaded as a, uh, once it's initialized as a try, you go to a web browser. So you're gonna need to make sure you're plugged into the internet or it has a Wi-Fi chip. Connect to the internet and follow the Home Assistant installation for the Home Assistant guide pretty much exactly as you would do if it was on your computer. So download that piece of software that uh, it's on Home Assistant's website. I'm not saying its name because I can't remember what it's called. Bletcher or Etcher or something like that. Uh, download that. Download the Home Assistant key, the, the Home Assistant install onto this Linux system. Download it straight onto here. And then click, in, click install and you'll be able to see hidden devices there'll be a hidden drive in here which is this hard drive select it click it and click install it will then install the home assistant operating system direct on the ssd now the reason it doesn't work using this cable on your pc is it doesn't create the bios entry to tell it this is an operating system for some reason when you do it with the live key plug directly into here it does so when you pull this out and you reboot, you'll have Home Assistant and you'll be able to set it up as normal. I hope that helps. If you're interested in learning more about electric cars or anything else, make sure you click the subscribe. Check out this video, which you might also find interesting.